National Convention, Minnesota Governor Tim Walz formally accepted the party's nomination for vice president last night. Walz had a lot to say about what a vote for Vice President Kamala Harris and Demo Democratic presidential nominee as well, Harris, could mean for middle class citizens. Let's listen. If you're a middle class family or a family trying to get into the middle class, Kamala Harris is going to cut your taxes. If you're getting squeezed by prescription drug prices, Kamala Harris is going to take on Big Pharma. If you're hoping to buy a home, Kamala Harris is going to help make it more affordable. And no matter who you are, Kamala Harris is going to stand up and fight for your freedom to live the life that you want to lead. So why does this all matter and what impact does this have on the election? Here with his big takeaway is Yahoo Finance senior columnist Rick Newman. He's been keeping tabs on all conventions everywhere, especially here in the U.S., uh, so that we don't have to some days. But what did you make of this? <laughs> does it have to be a big takeaway? Uh, how about a medium takeaway? Okay. Uh, th this, this convention's going well for the Democrats. I mean, it was well staged last night. It ended mostly on time. Uh, we got the vice presidential uh, brouhaha out of the way, so now we know. We, we've got it. We, we've learned who the vice presidential nominee is, and it's all about Kamala Harris now. So um, I thought uh, I think Tim Walls, I think they did a good job of making him seem normal. Uh, it was a nice touch that they had all the, his a bunch of his former football players up on stage. I mean, you know, I think it's an overused term, but relatable applies to this guy. Um, the footage of his two kids and his son, he's like, wow, that's my dad up there. I mean, quite a contrast from the Trump sitting in their box at the Republican convention, you know, just sort of nodding at the coronation of, you know, dad all over again. Um, so now we move on to Kamala Harris. We're not going to hear a lot about policy tonight. Um, she still has to uh, introduce herself to people. There's still a lot of people who, uh, you know, everybody knows who she is, They, but people want to know what does she stand for, what is she like, and I think that's what we're going to get tonight. Rick, what do you think her message needs to be going off of that, just in terms of the best connection here or the best way to make the, that connection so, with voters? So one of the things that has solidified out of this convention is we are now seeing what the Kamala Harris campaign messages are. Mm -hmm. um, number one, joyful warrior. Um, and I think that is effective if it could be very effective if uh, if it sticks and if that mm -hmm. connects with voters. I mean, they, um, you know, they, it's a huge contrast from the Biden campaign. And you have to think that it's mostly the same group of people running this campaign as we're running the Biden campaign. And yet they've obviously completely shifted the messaging. And uh, it's been pretty seamless, honestly, kind, kind of impressive. Um, they're they're using the the theme of freedom, so um, that's normally a sort of a MAGA or conservative Republican theme, and they're trying to steal it from from MAGA world, and they're applying it obviously to uh, reproductive rights, abortion, but also to other things, the freedom to get ahead, the freedom to have the government not tell you what to do. Um, so there's that, and then there's going to be some economic populism. I mean, that's just what we get these days. But again, we're not going to hear too many policy ideas. We're going to hear generalizations, uh, help the middle class get ahead. Uh, if she has to do anything, I mean, the weak spot for Kamala Harris, just as it has been for Joe Biden, is inflation. So she needs to persuade voters that she is going to be different from Biden, and they don't need to think of her as an inflationary politician the way they do think of Joe Biden as that. All right, we'll wait and see what we hear from Kamala Harris uh, tonight. All right, Rick, great stuff. Thanks yep, so much. See ya.